Hey guys, so I am in Maine at my main house. It's raining all day, so I couldn't film outside, but we have an amazing yard. There are so many views from upstairs. Um, I'm gonna make some great videos, maybe a house tour if you're interested. I've seen from Tyler's video, um, I found, I kinda wanted to let you know me a little bit better. So I found it was gonna be like a 20 questions tag or something, but instead, I searched 20 funny questions and I came up with 20 questions that you should ask someone you like. So, if you're gonna ask me on a date, this is what you gotta do. Um, so yeah, this is um, 20 questions um, that you would ask someone like me, uh, if you're a girl, maybe I would ask a girl um, if I like them and I wanted to maybe go on a date. Question number one, what would you do if you were invisible for a whole day? I feel like I'd just walk around and see what people do um, when they're alone, I know it's kind of creepy, but I was reading um, on Twitter and it's like the Japanese say you have three faces, the one you show in public, the one you show with your close friends and family, and the one that you show by yourself. And the one by yourself is the truest representation. So I think I'd go and see some of my closest friends and see kind of how they act by themselves and I feel like I get to know them a little bit better. It's creepy, but I think that's what I'd probably do. If you could be a woman or a guy for one day, what would you do? I don't know, I'd probably just look at myself. Kind of, it's kind of creepy, but I kind of just like, you know, everything's different, so I kind of just... I'd be a woman for a day. That's what I'd do. I'd be a woman for a day. What is the worst thing when someone has walked in on you doing? Um, I've been pretty lucky with that. I mean, I mean I'm sure um, my siblings have walked in on me naked before. But whatever, not too bad. I wish you guys could see the water. It's so pretty. Oh, there you go. Focus on it. So there's the water, and that's like Bar Island. And uh, there's um, when the tide comes out. Focus on my face again. Ooh. All right, so yeah, when the tide goes out, there's like a, a pathway of sand that you can walk across the island, you can explore, it's really cool. Do I think I'm attractive? I have some confidence issues, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't go out and I say, wow, like, I feel really attractive today. But there are certain times where I feel like my hair looks cool, or I'm wearing clothes I like, and I feel like I'm attractive, yeah. But, you know, it's hard to always feel confident in yourself, I feel, to describe yourself. Um, passionate, funny, I think and kind. I don't, I don't like doing that either. It's kind of the confidence thing. Like, what if I'm not kind? I feel like, no, I feel like I'm really nice to people. Um, I'm funny. And then, um, I always really try very hard in everything I do. So I think that's why I'm dedicated. Do people care if they could read your mind? I feel like, as I said, I'm really kind, but I definitely judge, I feel like everyone judges people, and I definitely judge people in my mind. Uh, maybe a little bit more than I should. It's a lot about food. Um, I like pop culture a lot. I think that's maybe part of the reason why I like YouTube so much. So I think I'd be thinking a lot about celebrities and just kind of the whole the whole scene, like what I want to do in the future. They hear a lot about that. What's your dumbest pet peeve? I guess in regards to YouTube, my dumbest pet peeve is no one can watch me record. Like I'm in my house in Maine, I have so many family members here and no one's allowed anywhere close to the porch where I'm filming. Um, and that just makes me uncomfortable, I guess. Um, so I guess that's a pet peeve because I'm putting up the internet for you all to see, but I won't let them watch me record it, so it's kind of... Who's your celebrity crush and why? Um, Emma Stone right now, I watch Spider-Man, I watch Secret. Easy A, I watched Easy A, and I think she's so funny. And her story about how she went to Hollywood and convinced her mom to let her live her dream is inspiring. To me. She's beautiful, and so yeah, I'm a star right now. I think she's really talented. I'm really excited to show you guys this house. I, I've never even been like we've had it for two, three years now. We've been renting it out because it was very expensive to get, and it was kind of a whole joint family effort. So we all put money into the house. And we rented it out, and so we've never had an opportunity to come up, and it's amazing. I think I'm going to give you guys a house tour. Um, maybe when you guys, if you can, you would uh, rent out the house for a week, maybe with your family, because uh, it's super, super cool. What are you afraid of the most? When I was younger, Chucky, the doll, uh, right now, I think I'm afraid I'm not going to succeed in the future. You know, I told you guys I kind of want to be an actor, and I'd be amazing, but I'm afraid I'm just going to end up doing, like, a desk job, and never really pursuing it because like I'm nervous a lot and sometimes I want to do things but I can't get myself out of my comfort zone enough to go do it so I feel like um, not ending up pursuing my dream would be something I'm very afraid of right now. What's my biggest turn on? I think when someone's funny. As I said when I'm talking one on one with someone I joke a lot and I'm like, some sarcastic a little bit and if they can be sarcastic and joke with me back I, I think that's awesome. Alright so this is another question like you're on a date. Uh, would you miss a sports game for that person? I think so, uh, no, I wouldn't actually, now that I think about it, because my soccer coach, I put a lot of time in the soccer, and he takes it very seriously, and we, you know, my mom has put a lot of money into my soccer, so I feel like if I skipped it, it'd be kind of disrespectful to my team, my family, and, um, you know, we can always hang out another time, uh, yeah. What was your most awkward sexual moment? 
there was one girl that I went on a date with, and after like 10 minutes, I had no idea what to talk about. Um, so I felt uncomfortable just even like being close to her the whole time. And it was just very like uncomfortable for me. That's what I think that's my most uncomfortable moment. If you could commit any crime and get away with it, what would it be? Um, so this is with my, with my date, right? So I think we would probably gang up and we would, kind of weird, but like I love the idea of like assassins and like, you know, like throwing knives and like archers and whatever, like um, Black Widow and Avengers. So I feel like we'd gang up, we'd be in an assassin team, we'd take out all the bad guys and we wouldn't get in trouble for just kind of the whole thing. So it's kind of like the rogue vigilante type thing and in theory it's not not legal, so I feel like we'd do that. We'd be a badass team and we'd just take them on. I don't know, that's, I'm still a loser. What kind of answer is that? If you could see the future, what would you hope to, would you hope to be seeing yourself doing in five years? I'm acting in a movie, um, graduating college, and having an acting job that I'm really happy about. Um, yeah, that's definitely exactly what I was wanting to see. What is your perfect date like? Um, she's funny, she's pretty, um, down to earth I guess, like I don't need to go on a date with someone and have them be like fake and trying to be all like cool and everything, like I, I just want to know the person, um, yeah, that's it. So if you fit that category out there, call my number 1-800-DATE-7, um, it will set something up, um, but yeah, I'm really excited for all my videos in Maine, everything's gonna have an awesome background. Um, any video I do is going to have scenery, and it's going to be a cool room, and it's going to be awesome. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, it's kind of my intro to main series. Um, yeah, don't let me ruin you or fun today, and I will see you guys soon, soon, real soon, for a new video. So, bye!